This year I watched helplessly as your honeymoon, dream wedding, and full-time job were taken from you one by one. I asked myself constantly what the heck I would say to you whenever I finally decided to write this letter. How could I possibly lay out a vision for the future when the current moment has been so hard to escape? And yet, despite those odds, you have emerged stronger than ever. This year has shown me a completely different side of you, Nicole. One that has me more excited than ever for the future that awaits us. I've seen from you resolve in the face of adversity, courage when you needed it most, and the willpower to pick your head back up whenever it hangs too low. As I peek at you from afar while you sip your coffee, I realize that you've somehow found a way to become even more beautiful with time, almost in defiance of the stresses in your way. You're a true goddess. I mean that with every single word. I love you so much, and I'm so happy that our wedding day has finally arrived. I am so damn ready to call you my wife. We have waited long enough. Let's get itched. Love always, Chris. The last three years with you have made me so happy and complete. I'm so grateful I made the bold decision to leave all the comforts of family and friends in New York to come to Charleston because it brought me to you. Moving wasn't an easy transition for me. I was often homesick and struggling to deal with constant paperwork and stress from work, but you made each day better. I love the life we're building together. I love turning our house into a home. I cherish all the moments we share, both big and small from decorating our house for our first Christmas and hosting our first Super Bowl party, to supine Sundays, hypothesizing about what will happen on this week's Big Brother, and watching Lester. And now, drum roll please, the day we've been looking forward to for far too long is here. The day we finally become husband and wife. It's been quite a journey, especially with the unforeseen obstacles that have come before us in the last few months. But these challenges have proven to me that there's truly no one else I'd want by my side during good times and bad than you. Your unwavering support and encouragement have gotten me through these last few months. And I don't think I tell you often enough how grateful I am for that. You've been my rock since the very beginning, and I promise that I too will support you, love you, and encourage you for the rest of our lives. I can't wait for what this next chapter of married life will have in store for us. I love you with all my heart. Now let's get married. Love always, Nicole. Good marriage must be created. In marriage, it's the little things that are actually the big things. It is remembering why you love each other every day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together as you are now facing the world. It is having the capacity to forgive and the capacity to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each other can grow. It is this common search for the good and for the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. With a tear in my eye, and a lot of tears in your eyes, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now see your marriage with the first kiss as husband and wife.
My wife said it best. Nicole is his yin to her yang or her yang to his yin because she kind of keeps him, him down. If y'all know Chris, Chris, Chris has a tendency when his train gets off the track, it really gets off the track. Chris, you've always been a, a good kid. Uh, you've never been... <laughs> I told you. <laughs> never been in, in any trouble. You've always done the right thing. And you've always made good decisions. And today you've made the best decision of your life. We love you both. Chris and Nicole, I am so thrilled for you on this exciting day. You've had to wait for months for your wedding day, but you both have handled the ups and downs of this year with grace and strength. The quote stands true, love is patient, love is kind, and your love is unstoppable. Cheers to the bride and groom. Just meeting Nicole and just realizing how different and amazing she was and how very lucky he is to have her. Um, you know, it's fitting that, and then funnily enough, we were both supposed to get married this year and we both had to push it. So it's just funny how our, we've had this shared history throughout our friendship that we always have similar things at similar times. So uh, definitely couldn't be any closer with anybody else. So I'm really happy to be uh, up here and speaking and everything like that. Um, and honestly, I see that same drive and determination that Chris has in his career and everything else in his life with his uh, relationship with Nicole. So I know it's, you know, it's built to last, and I definitely expect that many, many, many years of happiness, and I'm really happy to be a small part of that. And to have watched him grow over the last three years has truly been an honor, and I couldn't be happier for him. Uh, since I've known Chris, he's lived in Dallas, Atlanta, Hilton Head, back to Columbia, Charleston, and then Jacksonville. Uh, but wherever he's gone, our friendship has grown, it's gotten stronger, it's never wavered. and when he brought Nicole along or brought Nicole into our friendship uh, I realized real quick that she was the best girl a guy could ask for for his best friend and um, could not be happier for him and whether it's Jacksonville or wherever else you guys go my love and friendship will be with you wherever you go to Chris and Nicole to a lifetime of love health and happiness I love you guys Thank you.